um, but hi, Roland. So, um, I just tossed in the onion. It's about the appropriate amount. Remember, this is a uh, Hungarian sauce for idiots, right? I mean, I'm not trying to put it down, but we're not going by the classical French Academy right now, okay? But we are doing basically the job. And I didn't rinse out my pan. You can see there's still the Valet sauce because of the circumstances at hand. It's fine, man. It's really good. Don't worry about that. You can get away with these things. I wouldn't suggest it, and I wouldn't tell my students to do that. Like, hey, do this. I'm just saying, if your life, life throws a curve at you, you can, all right? So this is the part where you just want to get the flavors in here. Okay, folks? You got your paprika. Your garlic. I mean, sorry. Your butter. And your onion. It's nice, right? Yes. Okay, and that's going to be there for a minute or two. Now we're going to do this. Let's go over here, folks. So this is, we had to reduce the recipe by half. Um, it calls for a half a cup. Now this is your preference, okay? How you want to serve your sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and do almost half a cup of white wine. I'm gonna stick to the double, it's basically, it's like a half a tablespoon under because um, I like wine accent noticeable in my dinner. But um, that is not something you tell your students to just, you know, I do, I believe I probably have someone online, I do. I think I might have grabbed some attention. I'm rather skilled and I think some people might want to classify themselves as my students. And I'm glad to have you, if you're there. I like to think you are. So this onion is suitable now. You see how it's not white? It's more translucent. Okay, and our cupboard is in there. And we're going to go ahead and go for that wine uh, accent. Add that. And this one you don't have to worry. I taught this as well about anything at the bottom. You want that. Because as you're reducing your wine, and burning the alcohol out of it, you reclaim all of that flavor that perceived that looked like it was stuck. It's not. The wine does that for you. All right. And then this is a part where you let the little onions go ahead and soak up and mix with the wine even more now. I put the big pieces of onion because I don't have a strainer. And so it's a little trick. If you don't have a strainer, you can tie it with string. Well, you can put it in there, but you got to get it out. Okay. I'm going to let this bubble away for another minute or two. You see how nice this paprika is, right? I uh, also, just to comment, uh, used uh, probably more paprika than the French Academy would suggest, but and I am not promoting that. I'm just saying for here for now. Hey, hey, it's all good. It's going to be lovely. But do you remember these details? Okay. Because it's too remember. And here we are. You see, this is becoming thicker. This is what we want. And this is our opportunity now to add our ta-da, boulet sauce. We're going to add all that. I added the black pepper. This is fun, folks. This is nice, right? It's fun, too, I know. Um, we're going to leave the onion in, okay? I want the onion to go into this, too. Let me set this one this way. Hello there. Let's get all our boulet sauce in there. Part on that. All right, here, let's set this here. And, all right, so now we have, you see the boule, all right? Mixing with the paprika now. 
And you can see there's black pepper instead of white. You can understand now why they call for white. There are reasons for this. White also, uh, uh, in whatever the word, the food, differently. It is important to have these things in your pantry. But we're using black right now because you do need some sort of pepper. Okay. All right. We're going to let that go ahead five minutes at the most. Okay. Um, once that's done, it's my green light to saute my scallops. Um, because I got this one apparatus I'm working with. But I'm glad to share these sauces with you kids. And might as well kind of not wrap it up yet. I think it serves as a purpose to kind of finish this up. The sirens. We know the city has endless screaming sirens. It's not cool with me now. But I just didn't feel to be playing music. So we try to just ignore the frantic screaming EMS. There was one, you know, a couple minutes before this one. This is life here. This is not okay. I think it's very, very uh, bad place to live. But I don't want to get into all that right now. The sauce is lovely, if you ask me. Now it's going on my scalps. I tend to like a little bit thicker sauce. Just my preference. I think it might be cultural. Maybe I'm American and I have a tendency for that. That's why I always kind of wondered. I pondered that. Just a little thicker. I don't know where I get that from. You can do either. It's really a preference. But if you want to do it by the French Academy, you got to have the sauce. Perfect. You know what I mean. I'm going to let mine cook for another minute. That's looking really pretty, right? And we can go ahead and use our same bowl because this is madness with the dishes. Um, so I'm going to, and I guess I'm just announcing that. But no, you don't need to use the same bowl your valet sauce was in. You can get a nice, shiny, clean bowl. So let me turn this off. Let's do this like this. Hello, kids. Let's put the lid back on the wine. And let's put the paprika lid back on. And put that away. Okay, here we are. Let's get this. Put this in here. Get this baby. Okay, so I know you probably can't really see the bowl, but here we're going to put it back into the bowl that the volet sauce was in. Okay, this is mad good. If you ask me, you could have even had more paprika, but once again. is clean and presentable. This is a standard practice in my kitchen. Wherever I am, wherever I set up a kitchen, I'm the pop-up kitchen queen, right? Yeah, you can say. All right, there. Okay, folks? So, let me get some water into this. All right, this is now good to go. And let's try this, okay? Here. Here's our product, kids. We still have the onion in there. Take that out. You know, I'm going to... I will, but probably just skip that filming that. It's just because you know it well. I would like to try this. We work hard on this.
Mm, magnific. Very good, yes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be lovely on the um, fish. Now I'm thinking just a bit extra here. This is just me. I'm talking a bunch. Not even that much, okay? It's just, I don't know. Is it because I'm American? I like the salt. Well, no, probably not. Be silly. Okay. All right. Let's see how this adjustment makes it taste. Okay, let's try one more time. The sauce is delightful. And it's going to be a very good pair with the wild rice and the vegetable spinach, you know? This is a light dish. The sauce is light. It's nice. It's really, really nice. Okay? I'll put this up on the internet for you. <laughs>